Hello everyone, my name is Hema and I am an advisor at Unirali. In this session, we are going to talk about the importance of grades when applying to universities in Canada for an undergraduate degree. For admission into universities in Canada, academics are the most important form of assessment. Universities require you to submit the following. Number 1. Your 10th and 11th grade final mark sheets. And number 2. Your 12th grade predicted scores. So make sure that you maintain good grades in these three years of high school. Now you might be wondering what good grades are. Well, the definition of good grades varies from university to university. However, we would recommend you maintain a range between 85 to 95% for admission into most of the top universities in Canada. Don't worry if your grades don't fall in the higher range because a lot of universities will also accept applicants who have a rising graph. For example, if a student scores 80% in grade 10 or 85% in grade 11, followed by a 90% or above as their 12th grade predicted score, they should be good to go. Now I'll talk about some specific requirements set by universities. When it comes to the applications for certain courses, having studied and scored well in specific subjects matters more than others. For instance, if you want to study architecture at the University of Waterloo, mathematics, physics and English are a prerequisite. Moreover, the minimum grade requirement is a 75% in all the three subjects. On the other hand, if you want to study computer science at UBC, you are required to have studied math and English in addition to other subjects, with a minimum grade of 90% in each. Therefore, make sure you look out for specific degree requirements on the university websites and aim to fulfill them as needed. Also remember that when a university in Canada accepts you, they would always do so with conditions. For instance, if University of Toronto accepts you, they might ask you to score a minimum of 90% in the final 12th grade board exams. Similarly, there could be a variety of conditions such as achieving a minimum final grade in a required subject, submitting final transcripts, sending English language requirements and more. Universities have the right to revoke your admission if you do not fulfill the set condition. So make sure that you complete all requirements after receiving a conditional offer. We hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, we will be talking about the two English proficiency tests such as IELTS and TOEFL. So please make sure to like, share and subscribe. And if you happen to have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Also, if you would like to know more about how to apply abroad, log on to www.unireli.com. Our counsellors on the website will give you everything you need to go ahead. See you next time.